we always talked about it. What would happen to us? This is season two, episode two, talking to your mother. It's been a maybe a year and a half. I haven't been out here to talk to you for a while, Mom. Every day is getting better, but I still miss you a lot. And I think that um, coming back to California was a good idea. I was living in Arizona, down in the desert for a while, and um, thought I'd get away from California, see something new, see something different, and I did. I ended up working and had a good time and decided that I would go and travel afar, get my mind off of missing you a lot. Um, was out there for about six months. I ended up staying with a friend of mine that was inviting me to his place. And he, well, it's free rent. Didn't have to pay anything. But I didn't feel right. I ended up giving him a little bit of money and food. Traveled around, got to see the sights of Phoenix. It's hot out there, let me tell you mom. What they say in Arizona, they look like fire. Anyway, lived out there, started working for a company. It was really good. Um, it took my mind out of California, it really helped me. Help me. But every single day, I learned something new, and that something new was that if there's hundreds of thousands of other people out there that lose their parents, missing them, and I'm also part of that community. So what I decided that, I know that you would want me to be happy, just like you're here, be successful. So I ended up working in this company, and I liked it. You know, I haven't worked. It's been a while since I worked. Making money, making a paycheck. And I felt really good, and you'd be so proud of me, Mom. I was working for a company, making a paycheck, feeling good about myself. And I'm sure you're out there somewhere looking down, knowing that your, your son was working. Romeo, me. Romeo, yes. So I lived out there for a while, worked, made some money. But then, living with the roommate, it was really hard because he liked to drink vodka a lot. But, you know, it was tempting. It was so hard because I wanted to drink. And I ended up drinking them and I didn't want to drown my sorrows with any kind of alcohol. So I started drinking and I realized before I got too much involved with this alcohol that I know it was time for me to head back to California. So. Back here in my hometown, California, I mean, it's still hard, and I'm working again, and I just want to say that I haven't talked to you for a while, and I know that you're out there, you can hear me, and I know that you can see me, you can feel me doing good, and I know, and hopefully this little episode will help others, you know, that are going through what I went through a couple years ago with the death of my mom, and Hopefully they can see that alcohol isn't the way to go. The only way to learn when we lose a parent like a mom is to, you know, get a job. Uh, make your parents happy. And, you know, they're not gone. You can still do what I'm doing. You know, talk to them a little bit and give them a little bit of your information and love with them. Okay, and then... I just want to say, Mom, that I'm truly missing you, and I know you're out there, you can hear me, and I love you very much. Talk to your mother. We always talked about it.